Hi, and welcome to this Odoo video. Like we did for payment methods, it's useful to offer several delivery methods to our customers. Each one of them is unique, and they have their own expectations and goals. To meet those, offering the right delivery method will go a long way. It may seem minor, but letting customers decide their delivery method and keeping them informed about their order status is key to customer satisfaction. Knowing that, I want to offer them the possibility to use any delivery method that they would like so I can maximize their interest and then increase my revenue. Up to now, the only option I had was by local post, deterring people who don't want to use that option. By adding some other delivery methods like FedEx and DHL, nobody will have that excuse for not buying my goods. So let's see how we can do this right now. Okay, so here we are on the back end of our website application. Let's go ahead and install some delivery methods by going to configuration settings. Once we're on the settings page, We'll go ahead and scroll down and either install or activate some delivery methods. In this case, I have UPS, FedEx, and DHL. So go ahead and activate yours and be sure you click on save before moving forward. Now let's see how we can manage these delivery methods. So I can go to that page by either clicking on these buttons or I can go to configuration delivery methods here. So once I'm on this page, I see all of the delivery methods that I have uh, installed or created. I can also see which ones are published on my current website, which is Stealthy Wood at the moment. And on the right side, I can see if I publish these on a website in particular rather than the others. So for DHL USA right here, I can see that I only have this published on Stealthy Wood and not on my other website. So now let's go ahead and enter one of these um, delivery methods and see what it looks like. So I'm going to choose FedEx International and click on Edit. So since I have installed uh, FedEx International with a connector that already exists in Odoo, some of these fields are already populated, such as the delivery product. If I was creating a new delivery method, which we talk about in another video, I would have to manually create the delivery product. It also selects the provider and the integration level. Now here I can also add a margin on rate, and I can say that it will be free if the order is above a certain amount. And I can also specify which website I would like this to be published on. Or if I want it to be on both websites, I simply will not select one and leave it blank as it is right now. So down here, we will add our credentials. Okay, so our uh, delivery method credentials, we need to create from the site of the delivery method. Okay, so we don't do this through Odoo. And keep in mind that test credentials will only work in a test environment, which I'm in right now, and you can see that right here. And production credentials will only work in a production environment. If I wanna switch to the production environment, I can do so easily by clicking on this button. Next to it, I see that I have this delivery method published on my website, and I can unpublish that quickly with one click of the button and republish again. So it's super simple. All right, let's go back down to the bottom. We see some other options, such as default package type, um, FedEx service type. All of these things will be populated automatically. Um, however, if you're creating a new one, you will add those to yourself. And if I go to the bottom, I see some instructions from FedEx site um, specifying some conditions to uh, this delivery method. Now, you won't see this with every single delivery method, but you will have it in some cases like this one. Okay, so under the destination availability tab, we have the option to add some conditions. Uh, maybe I would like to use FedEx International, but only when it's for specific countries. So I can specify that right here. And under the description tab, I can also add some text as well. So let's go ahead and save this. And then we're going to go to the front end and purchase a product and use this delivery method. Okay. So we'll go to our website application, go to the website. Once we're on our website, we'll then go to our eShop and purchase a product. Okay. So I'm going to choose this product, floor protection. Okay. And I will go ahead then and add it to my cart and go through the checkout process. Okay, process checkout. And I will choose FedEx International, which is the delivery method we were just looking at. It may take just a moment for Odoo to fetch the rate from FedEx. Um, so just keep that in mind. 
I'm also going to pay with Stripe. Now, something else I want to point out before I move forward, um, for my product, Floor Protection, I have added a weight, which is necessary for uh, FedEx to generate a rate. Okay, so be sure you have that on your product template. You may also need uh, the volume depending on your delivery method. So just keep that in mind. You may need to add some information to the product template. Okay, so as you can see, FedEx has generated the rate. It's $125. It's quite expensive for just my floor protection mat, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase it anyway. Okay, so I'll pay now. And with Stripe, I'm going to make this payment through Odoo, and it's not going to redirect me to the Stripe site. So this is convenient for my customer because they won't be redirected at all. Everything will be done right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our test card. Okay, and pay. All right, automatic, super simple and easy. Okay, then it will redirect me to um, my confirmed sales order page. Okay, so it tells me that I have the sales order number 23 and that my payment has been successfully processed. Now, if we go to the back end to our sales application, all right, we're going to go and look at that order and complete the flow. So we're going to create our invoice. Okay, and I'm going to do that simply by clicking on this button, create and view invoices. Okay, and since I have already paid, that payment will be linked to um, this invoice and I won't have to register a payment. All right, so if I go down here, and click on this button, I can see that I paid with Stripe. So that's super easy and convenient, okay? Let's go back to our sales order and then to the delivery order. And we're gonna go ahead and confirm this as well. So since I have enough um, of this product on hand, it has automatically reserved. So let's go ahead and validate and we're gonna apply our done quantities automatically. Okay, we'll let Oju do that. And once it has applied, a tracking number will be generated and a shipping label as well with FedEx. And I see that in the chatter of this page. Okay. And I also have this um, button on the top right tracking. And when I click on this, it will redirect me to the FedEx site as well. So that's really convenient for you. And let's go ahead, go back into our website and check out our customer's portal to see what they see once this has all been done and confirmed. Okay. So we're going to go to my account then sales orders, and we're gonna look at that sales order that I just created, number 23, okay? And once we're on this page, we will see everything, okay? We see that the payment is done, it's processed. I even see that the invoice was created and paid for, and I have all of the information right here. So this whole process is so simple and easy, not only for your customer, but also for you. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.